Well, the massacre in Parkland, Florida last week has not surprisingly sparked a renewed push on the left to take guns away from American citizens. The new call is for a ban on so-called assault rifles. That's an intentionally imprecise term that includes AR-15s and a lot of other sporting rifles. Bans of any kind tend not to be popular, but Americans are so upset, many of them, by the school shootings, and rightly so, that they might be open to a ban if it promised to save lives. So the question is, would an assault weapons ban prevent future shootings? That's the key question, and luckily we don't need to guess about the answer. We already had an assault weapons ban in this country for 10 years, starting in 1994. Now that law, when it was written, mandated a comprehensive study of its effectiveness, which was produced, so we have a definitive answer. According to the Justice Department, our assault weapons ban, the one that passed in 1994, had no effect on crime rates, none. Nobody was saved by it. That shouldn't be surprising if you know the numbers, because despite the hype, rifles are actually not the weapon of choice for the overwhelming majority of killers in America. In 2015, the most recent year for which we have data, rifles were used in a total of 252 homicides in America. By comparison, old-fashioned knives, sharpened metal, were used in more than 1,500 killings. Blunt objects killed 437. A striking 624 murders were committed with bare hands and feet. Those are the actual numbers on that from the government. So the science is in on this, and it's conclusive. And yet the very people who tell you they still believe in science and you don't, don't care about the science in this case. They're still trying to ban AR-15s. A new piece of legislation called the Assault Weapons Ban of 2017, introduced last year by several Democratic senators, would outlaw the manufacture, the sale, or transfer of more than 200 different, quote, military-style assault weapons. What's a military-style assault weapon? Well, according to the law, it's any weapon that has features like a detachable magazine, a pistol grip, a forward grip, a folding stock, or the infamous barrel shroud, presumably named because its purpose is shrouded in mystery for the people who propose banning it. They have no idea what it is. Most of these are cosmetic features, by the way. They don't make firearms more deadly. They just look them look, make them look more scary, and that's enough. Let's stop pretending. None of this nonsense would reduce mass killings, no matter what they're telling you. The people pushing it don't even believe it would have that effect. And they'll admit that if you ask them because it's impossible to deny it. Again, the numbers are in. The real problem they have, the thing that animates them, is loathing of the Second Amendment, which, like the First Amendment, they no longer believe in. They think you do not have a right to own a gun, and they're making hard, working hard to make sure you cannot own a gun. Their aim is not safety, it's control. Jomani Williams is a New York City council member. He's running for New York lieutenant governor, and he joins us tonight. Council Williams, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. I'm glad uh, we decided it's a, a good time to talk about uh, gun safety. Yeah, it is a good time to talk about uh, gun safety. I think it's always a good time. So we had an assault weapons ban, very much like the one that Democrats in the Senate are proposing. And we had it for 10 years. And we know, because it was studied exhaustively, that it saved no lives. So what would be the motive in reimposing that same law? Well, also, I noticed on your, your data, you didn't put down that uh, 90,000 Americans are shot 30,000 killed uh, by guns uh, every single year. Uh, but the real question well, is... What percentage uh, of those are suicides, by the way? Do you uh, know? So, one, people like to put that out like it matters, but two-thirds are Well, it suicides. does matter, actually. Well, no, I'll be... So we'll say... The majority two, were suicides. Two-thirds are suicides, but that means right, 10,000 Americans are murdered. That's one. And two, which is when two, which is Just critically, don't use funny statistics. That's two, all which I'm is, two, which is critically important. All the data shows the presence of a gun increases a successful suicide percentage. So that's yeah, important. That's true. Those lives so matter. you think suicide? Just as a side note, since you're a liberal, I assume you're for assisted suicide. Well, you're suddenly against suicide when it's committed with a gun. No, no, or what's no. Your no. Position I just don't want to make. Sure, I want to make sure we're all clear because I know your master of conflation is good, and I just want to make no, sure. No, it's we're not. All... It's it, no, no. You, you can't say there are thirty thousand gun deaths and not note that two thirds were self inflicted I'm not, I did. I'm not for suicide, assistant, uh, physician assistant or otherwise, I'm sure you are, but I just want to be clear with our viewers that you're no, misusing the stat. No, I want to be clear stat, and say that, which you were. that the, the lives that are lost of suicide also matter. And the 10,000 murders should be counted as well. Look, I, but, look I'm look. i not for gun killing of any kind. My only point is, look, 
legislators make laws and they do so in the hope they will have their attended effect. And we know from 10 years of experience that an assault weapons ban doesn't work. There's no debate about that. The DOJ came to that conclusion after studying it. So why would we want it again? It's a simple question. So, but the, actually the real question is, and it's always to you, Tucker, do you believe that we shouldn't have unfettered access to guns in this country? That's the question. I don't know what that means. I don't live, no, no, I live in a world of specifics. I, no, no, I no, cover no, no. lawmakers who are trying to impose laws on the rest of us, and I try to assess whether those laws are no, wise what we and will should be effective. Do if we're both being honest and want to deal with the gun I am violence. being honest. And so what we have to start is a point at where people agree. And what I'm saying to you is should we have unfettered access to guns in this country? I don't even know that's what that means. We don't have unfettered we access to guns. Do. We, Far we from own, it. No, that's, look, that's this, silly overstatement. That's not I mean, silly look. at all. That's a question I'm trying to get to you so that we can have an honest conversation about what to do after we've agreed with that. No, okay. So let, let's get, ra rather than get into this sort of airy world, it's let's, not get airy, into the, uh, let's get into the, uh, those words don't mean much. Let's get into the specifics of the legislation that the left, the Democratic Party, is pushing now. They are saying, that guns that have something called a barrel shroud ought to be prohibited, outlawed, banned. Again, and my question is why? Why would a barrel shroud make a gun more dangerous? Do you but again, know? that's the wrong question. The question why is it the is, wrong question? I'm responding question, to a question proposal that you support. Unfettered access to guns. That is what the question is. And what you do successfully, and it works, okay. because you give people red okay. meat okay. and the, the, you no, know, no, no, the fans no. like it. I'm but, it's not no, about no, no, the no, fans no, 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 or red meat. I'm responding to an actual piece of proposed legislation in the U.S. Congress proposed by your allies in the Democratic Party, and I'm asking you about the details of that legislation. It would propose banning guns that have pistol grips, and barrel shrouds and bayonet lugs. Have but there you, been a lot of mass killings something. with bayonets? See, what, what is this? What you do well is focus on something, and I'll tell you something. Oh, focus else. on facts, right? Yeah, that oh, is no, what, but I want to focus on the real question, and you refuse oh, okay. to answer it. Is whether or not this country should have unfettered access to guns? And well, you but go the to answer, things... needless to say, is no. We don't well, allow nine-year-olds to have guns. <laughs> thank you very much for that. They're not currently answer. allowed to have guns. That's nor a have critically they ever been important allowed. answer. Well, but it's and not appreciate... because there's no disagreement. No, it is. It's a no, so then the, it's a then the question, dumb question is, what should we do? Because when you look at something like a car that was made just to transport people and accidentally kills people, we have tremendous amount of regulations. You need insurance. You have to have okay, training. Our we guns talk about are a gun. tremendously regulated. A I gun, actually know a, quite a bit about... Let, a let get, gun that are, is made okay. to kill people, Are you, you have to have training to, to, right. to purchase okay. a gun in most of this country? Are You're you willing fact, to address the actual law proposed by actual Democrats in the actual the U.S. Senate or no? Are you just the, gonna, country, the country that has 50% of all civilian guns in the world and is 4% of the population, are you willing to admit that that has something to do with the gun violence in this country? It's a non. Look, you're not. I'm dealing in the realm of social science and facts. All we, but here's what no, we do agree on. No, you're dealing on, in the realm of school, conflation, no, and you do not, that well. I'm not conflating and I anything. I want to start from here. Both of us are opposed to, to school shootings. Sure. But you're. I don't want to use. Look, the fact that you're unwilling to address the specifics of the legislation suggests to me that your real aim no. is not reducing gun violence, but something. I would say hidden, maybe oh, taking not guns all. away I'll from the population. The reason that I'm running for lieutenant governor is probably your is, aim. Well, the reason I'm trying to run for lieutenant governor is because in New York City, I've been a leading voice among others in reducing gun violence just in the past year to 22%. What have you done to reduce gun violence in this country? <laughs> I don't know. Exactly uh, I, my point. Look, I, I, <laughs> I and don't you have think a you perch. can quite take you credit for that, uh, Councilman. No, you need to be no, responsible with the I am responsible because and so I deal reviews, in facts and they'll you show deal you in mindless generalizations and they'll that do show nothing me except get you votes. The unfettered yeah. access to guns in this country. It's a totally, I don't know who gave you that talking point, but you ought to fire him because it's it's an important talking point. And I look forward to your Twitter fans in just a few minutes. But there will be a few people that always respond to me on happy because I came on the show uh, and I'm looking forward to you working know what? with You want to get off to Twitter deal. and start doing something for the state of New York. I just told you what I did, actually. You've got too did. much free time, man. The get off Twitter. Is, what have I tell you my kids that I'll tell to you that, gun too. Violence. I told you what I did, <laughs> and right. I'm very proud of it. I can tell you are. Thank yeah. you, Congressman. Thank Good you. Is, uh, councilman, rather. Oh, I just gave him a job boost.